Hey everybody, welcome to 4C Sports Cards. This is Pete, and today I got two boxes for you. They're the 2023 Upper Deck uh, All Elite Wrestling AEW Hobby Boxes. I ordered these boxes back March 2nd, and it took about nine months to get here. It took a little bit, bunch of delays, but I got them today. I wanted to open them up. I'm not, um, I'm not big on wrestling, as most of you guys, if you guys have been following my channel, uh, I don't I don't follow wrestling, but my uh, my nephew wrestles for the AEW, and I will see if I can uh, come up with some cards from him as for Ethan Page. Uh, if they kind of if I can come up with something, maybe an autograph or anything out of these boxes, that's the main reason why I get these. I chase him and then I collect all his stuff. Well, without me talking too much, let's get into the boxes. I'll get through them both today for you. Uh, let's go through this. What do we got here? We got uh, eight cards per pack, twenty four. Uh, packs per box it says collect five double or nothing playing cards including one gold parallel per box on average it says each box contains four UD canvas cards well let's see what we got in here I'm not very familiar with uh, a lot of these guys I've met a few of them here and there but I'm not I don't really follow wrestling too much but um let's see what we can come up with I wouldn't mind anything Autograph or any kind of insert or some kind of parallel with that. Try not to make too much noise. I have a habit of ripping in front of the camera here. Try not to make it too much noise for you guys. Alright, first pack. Let's see what we got here. Looks like we got it all in the family. Gum gum. Colton gum and Austin gum. There we got Matt Hardy. Cards look pretty cool. Uh, just a basic upper deck paper stock. Nothing fancy. I like the uh, the allures that came out the other day. Don't have one here to show you guys, but the allures are really nice. They got a good paper stock. This just seems like just a simple glossy upper deck card. But let's see what we got here. We got Penta L Zero. We are Elite Thunder Rosa. And it looks like we got a two of clubs. Matt Hardy, I think these are one of the inserts that come with these. Yep, these are the double or nothing inserts. Matt Hardy card, that's pretty cool. And we got Wardlaw. I'm sorry, I'm out of frame. Wardlaw. MJF, I hear he's a good wrestler. Athena. And that's it for that pack. Won't... I won't be uh, going through them too much. Just a lot of cards I want to get through. I just got to, hopefully I can find something from Ethan Page. Just trying to get an idea what these cards look like. They seem pretty decent, pretty basic. We got here, we got Rush, Anthony Bowens. It's like they got gold label on these. Just, these other ones got the silver, so I guess that's just a specific card. Claudio Castellogni. And we got the Eight of Diamonds, Lee Monterey, or is it Moriarty? Mor Moriarty, I'm sorry about that. Got that. Hook and Taz, all right. Keep going at this. Yeah, I ordered these back in March. Took quite a bit of time to get them. They kept delaying them, delay, delay, delay. They, I think I've got... $100 a box. They pre-ordered 100 bucks a box. They were supposed to come out in July. It just came out this December. It was December 2nd. It was 14th today. So it took a bit to get them out. Let's take a look at one of my first UD canvases. This is Madison Ryan. Danielson. Jim Ross. Okay. It takes a little bit. Yeah, usually, for some reason, Upper Deck's been delayed on a lot of their cards. Baseball, basketball, football, they're all a little bit delayed. But it's all good. They came in. All right, looks like we got a Dazzlers. This is the hook. Is it a Dazzlers? Yeah, Dazzlers D732 hook. Pretty cool looking card. Scorpio Sky, he's one of the guys that wrestles with uh, Ethan Page. They usually do tag team stuff. Try to make a little room here on my desk. Maybe I get a little stand for this guy here. Get him out of the way so I don't damage him. Here we go. 
boy. Mic check. Start or steer down. Oh, that's a clear card. We got a steer down, clear card. This is Dr. Britt Baker. Pretty cool. Right through that. Very nice card. Hopefully for some kind of autos. I don't think they give out too many autos in these sets, but we'll you never know. We'll see what comes up. Okay, there we go. We got Kenny Omega and we got Lucio Luca Brothers. Right here. A lot of packs. All right. That one. Hey there. Cassidy. Looks like uh can't really be Pyro, some kind of Pyro, Ray Phoenix. Strickland, Turner, Tiger Valkyrie. Okay. She come into the ring. Another mic check. Tell zero. I guess I should start watching a little bit of this wrestling stuff so I can understand who these guys are. Maybe uh know if they're any good or not. I don't even know if these worth keeping them. Ah, we got a patch card. Jim Ross card. We got a patch. Two-color patch. I guess. Let's see what it says. Congratulations, received a card from Jim Ross memorabilia that has been certified to the Upper Deck Company as having been worn by the featured announcer. We hope you enjoy. Okay, I guess it's it. I guess the game used, game worn. Very cool. See something out of that. Private Party, Amelia Parker. Okay. Another canvas card, Matt Hardy, Julia Hart. You know, I can get anything autographed or any card signed by my nephew. He's signed a bunch of stuff for me, but there's no fun in that. I like finding stuff in packs. He's actually got a few different um, when he signs his little um, the little labels for the for upper deck. He actually signed a couple of them specifically for me to find. There's five cards that he did. I'm not going to tell you what he wrote, but on, on one of his, on five of his signatures, he did something specifically for me to to, to hunt down. So I am on a chase on that one. This one looks a little Aubrey Edwards, a little sparkly. Yeah, he's uh he's got a, five cards for me. Hopefully they uh they add them to the to the set. We'll see if they come up. If I find one, I'll let you guys know. Pyro cards, Sting. Remember Sting back in the day? And this guy's this guy's funny. I seen him at my nephew's house. He's a hilarious guy. Nice picks. Pretty difficult to open. I just noticed on those mic check cards, they actually, they're numbered. Just noticed that. Pretty cool. All right, Sammy. Gail. Phil Zero. Anna J. Oh, we got a gold. Eight of spades. Jungle Boy. Double or nothing. That's a gold one. Not that, but that's got to be important or... Good find, I guess. Nothing there. 
Now the way I'm going at this pack is probably taking me quite a bit longer than I thought. I might have to split it up in two separate videos. Yeah, canvas card. I'll just try to get through them a little quicker for you. Apologize if I'm being a little quiet. House is sleeping. It's like one o'clock in the morning here. I don't want to be waking up everybody by talking too loud. So apologize if I'm a little quiet today. But that seems like the past few videos have been kind of chill and just kind of relaxed. Don't want to be yelling and screaming at everybody. Well, there's a purple pyro young bucks. Pretty cool. Just like to open the cards nice and nice and mellow. Enjoy the night. Nice and quiet in the house. Appreciate you guys all hanging out with me. Noticed I had a, quite a few new subscribers. I appreciate you guys. I usually don't hound people for subscriptions, but I appreciate you guys doing that for me. Got a three of spades, and that's the bunny. Yeah, I try to do different things here and there. You know, this wrestling's kind of different than what I usually do. Usually like basketball, football, and basketball. No, oh, baseball. Yeah, baseball, football, and basketball. Did I say that twice? Yeah. I like to do that. I've been watching my Pistons, so oh boy. What a what a nightmare they are this year. Well, we got a green dazzler, Malachi. Uh, is it? Yeah, Malachi Black. Green dazzler. That's a pretty cool looking card. I'll put him up on the stand. So far, nothing in my Ethan Page cards. Hopefully, I get something. I'm almost done with the first box. Got a few more packs. I'll go a little quicker. Total access, another pyro card. Yeah, I got to get through these a little quicker. It's going to take me all night to be doing this one at a time like I am. I'm opening up the cards like I'm by myself, just hanging out and watching TV. Well, speaking of watching TV, I got some whatnot stuff I did last week. I gotta make a video for that. Well, what a what a night I had with whatnot. There we go. But I will be doing that probably next couple of days as soon as I get the package in. Interesting night for me. Yeah, so far I don't see another pyro car. I got quite a few pyros. Stack out of the way. I'm supposed to get four canvas cards. I think I only got two so far. Let's see if any more come through. Hmm. The set ain't great this year. Just kind of like a bland bland set. The allure cards are nice. The metal cards are really nice too. But these are kind of bland. Yeah, they almost seem like cartoony. Got a UD canvas. FTR. Yeah, they're not great. Oh, I see them in the back. We'll wait for that one at the end. Damn, damn. Pink card. Blue Dazzle Lance Archer. Malachi Black. And we got my first Ethan Peach card. Very nice card with his fancy shirt he likes to wear. Put him up front here next to Bob Ross. Actually, the Bob Ross card is numbered. I didn't even notice that. Just notice that just now. It is number 26 out of 49. Or 28 out of 49? Yeah, 28 out of 49. Now this reflection light, lights are too bright. But yeah, it's cool. I got my first card. And down to the last pack of the box. Queen of Spades, Tony Storm. 
And that was it for that box. I'll open up the other one real quick, get that one out of the way. So far, I'm going good. I got one of my Ethan Page cards. Get this one here. Where did my mic go? And if you're still with me, I appreciate it, guys. Still waiting on my order from CGC. Usually they take a couple of weeks. It's been a, quite a bit of time. I still haven't seen it or got a you know, in grading process yet. Once I get that order through here, I will show you guys. I got a bunch of a bunch of my nephews, Ethan Page cards up on that one. I'll be showing you guys. If you guys want to see some wrestling graded cards, I got a I think 40 total, a bunch of basketball, football, older stuff, some newer stuff, but I got uh, some wrestling stuff also. It'll be all his cards I've sent up for grading, trying to build my collection. I usually like to grab at least one of every single card he's got out there. You just get it in the slab, just get it graded. I'm not really interested in how good the grade is, just to kind of slab them and keep them for my, for my collection. Pyro, another pyro card. Quite a few of them in this set. Hope everybody's having a good December. So far, it's been nice and quiet for me. Oh, here we go, another clear card. Stare down L0, Penta L0. Clear card. Pretty cool looking card. It's been a kind of quiet, weather's coming in, getting cold, hiding in the house, just trying to do some stuff, been on whatnot a lot, been buying a lot of, a lot of stuff, most of the stuff I just, uh, I don't, yeah, I have no need to show them, it's just basic stuff, I'll just, uh, once I get them eventually, maybe get that, that uh, order I Played with uh, last week. There was a huge order. I'll, I'll show you guys that video. There's a King of Hearts, Kenny Omega. Yeah, what not fun. Oh, back of my card. I got another one. Back. The canvas. And there it is, another Ethan Page card. Very cool. That's two. Two for two. Hopefully I get a few more, but it's okay. I get one of those. I'll get him to sign you one and maybe send one out for a throw it in a slab so I can add it to my little showcase. Dazzlers. Another blue dazzlers. Yeah, overall, it's not a not a beautiful set. Just just kind of a basic stock, basic look. Pretty much mirrors the last year's. Here's another gold King of Diamonds, Brian Danielson. Just mirrors a 22. I think the first year was 22. Yeah, and it pretty much looks like that. Just a few different options with the Dazzlers and these little playing card looking ones. And get these a little quicker for you guys. Make some room on my desk here. Put these out of my way. Desk is full of cards, all kinds of different cards. Stuff I'm going to send in for grading just piled up. Got barely enough room to put the camera up. To the ring. The Dazzlers. Danielson. You got Cash Wheeler. Looks like I'm getting repeats on these packs here. Looks familiar. Got 
no autos yet just a patch cart another canvas cart would like to get an auto would be very nice hope I'm not being too loud with the packs for you guys I use my phone to record and it seems like it's very sensitive with like high-pitched stuff like paper rattling and just ticking and clicking and when you drop a slab on a table you don't think you're tapping it that hard but when you hear it on video it seems like you're just throwing it across the room making a bunch of noise it's very sensitive on the high frequencies another pyrone canvas I got a few more I'll let you guys be on your way also got this is one of the deals I got on one of my whatnot stuff a little Jordan tin I don't know what's in there I picked it up with one of the auctions collector's edition collect all six NBA finals looks like there's a little card inside it's just a sealed tin I don't know if I should open it or should I keep it what do you guys think should I open it up anything important in there well, go back to the wrestling. Do, 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 do. Another cash wheeler pyro. It's not the dynamo, it's just regular pyros. And it felt a little thicker than normal. Yeah, I think they can do better with these cards. Maybe they're keeping up for the other stuff, like the metals and stuff. But they're just they're not very. Not very, just kind of just blah, bland cards. I don't know, I keep saying that, but it's five of hearts. Takashita. Konusuke Takashita. Sorry if I said that wrong. And yeah, Darby Allen Dazzler. Total access. And last one there. Oh, cards got all messed up. Let me get them back in order. All right, a few more packs. Skim through them pretty quick for you guys. Some kind of sparkly something. So what do you guys think of this set? Any interest in it? Was it worth the hundred bucks? Probably not. I could have probably brought his cards on eBay for a couple of bucks a piece, but that's no fun. Got this one again, but this one's pyro. It's no fun buying that stuff. You gotta open up packs and enjoy finding them inside packs. But yeah, they're, I think they're out there for two, three dollars a piece seen a few people open them up they just came out yesterday i think they started she shipped them yesterday i had mine got them today so it took one day to ship them but they they came out yesterday and i've noticed some of the the suppliers have already opened oh it's a total access what is this disco something orange swerve strickland pretty cool looking card yeah they've been opening them up and just noticed you a lot of these guys are just throwing them out there a couple of dollars a piece. But it's all fun. Opening packs. Trying to find something. Even if you don't, I guess it's okay. I've spent money worse ways. Ten of spades. Hook. All right, three more packs, and I'll stop babbling here. Into the ring. No, it's nothing else. Pyro.
It's actually a pretty cool looking card. Canvas. All right, last pack. Well, I guess two cards out of two boxes is okay for me. Too bad I didn't get anything, any patch or auto or anything from, from Ethan Page. But it's all good. He's got a, four boxes he orders. He's waiting for his, see what he comes up with. Well, that's it. I got all packs opened up. I appreciate everybody hanging out with me. I did get my two cards. I'm happy about that. They're both the silver ones. Yeah, the full, like, yep, they're both silver. Look pretty good. Have them try to sign one. Maybe I'll get one slabbed. Get it on my on, in my uh, collection. Well, I appreciate you guys all hanging out with me. Let me know what you guys think. Was this set? Is it any good? Is it, would you guys waste your money on it? You know, let me know what you guys think. A couple of comments would be appreciated. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one.